guys, welcome back to the vlog and thank you for tuning in. We have 24 hours before this needs to be wrapped and on a trailer to Zcon. And we got the gang here. It's wrap day. <laughs> we are going to kick some ass. And you're leaving. <laughs> I'm out of here. There you go. Never coming back. By the end of today's video, you will see a complete transformation with the Z. We are going to be going from this yellow with the Nissan front bumper to this. So stay tuned, you guys. We have a lot of work to do and I'm excited to see just how close we can get it to look like the render. No comment on why it's crinkled up. Ooh. All right, I would love to see this material. Let's see the goods. Let's do it. The goods. <laughs> This feels like an after hours drug deal right now. We have the black gloss vinyl. And then we have satin blood red. This is actually Ooh, PPF too. Really? Yeah. I'm so excited. Oh, that's such a pretty color. It's gonna be a fun project, but it's all on this guy now. Yes. Yeah, so, take it from here. I know, yeah. 24 hours, my man. <laughs> <laughs> no, pressure. Yeah, no pressure. I know you do this all the time at Everlasting, but today we are going to be doing an unrealistic build. And we have confidence in him. I mean, this is the reason why he's in Tech's personal trainer too. So, I mean, the guy's a beast. So what, what's the first thing you're gonna tackle on this? So as of now, so the, the, the print is actually ready. However, we're just waiting on the lamination that needs to cure a little bit. Uh -huh. So we're gonna get started on the main body, which will be this one, okay. the dry PPF. We're actually gonna start like with the bumper, the, the sides, and then once we're done with that, then the lamination will be cured and everything, then we can install the print. So it'll be, the front bumper yes and then the white goes on afterwards yes okay and then basically following all this and then yeah. the black wow so the red first and then the 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 white material after so you can do a lot of this by hand huh yeah we can yeah easy peasy oh exciting <laughs> Crazy progress is being made, and now it is time to choose the red. We have three incredible options here. Can you walk me through what these options are? What's going on here? Yeah, so obviously this is the dynamic PPF satin blood red, probably like the newest product, uh -huh. most durable, but This the is darkest. a PPF and a wrap. It is, feel it. Whoa, Silky. I just touched that, I was like, whoa. Silky smooth. This is traditional super gloss film, kind of what we're known for, but this is our blood red. Kind okay. of like an OG color, and then this is our Corsa Red, and we think Corsa Red's probably gonna be the closest to the Nismo. Well, obviously we want this build to be Nissan. This is a Nissan build, so I love this color. I absolutely love this, and I love that it's PPF2. I've never seen anything like this before, yep. but I'm thinking this makes the most sense yeah, based on some of the previous, you know, Nissan like race cars and yeah, just like that like that identity. Bright, yeah. I think this is right on the money. This is the creative, like the artistic, you know. Artiste. Yeah, artiste touch. Maybe so, something down the line, maybe something down the line. I feel like whenever I see your cars, I'm genuinely, and I'm not just gassing them up, genuinely never sure if it's a wrap or if it's paint. That's the goal. So that's, that's why I'm, the goal. I'm really excited for this. Out of the three, I think this is just gonna be perfect. Let's do it. Let's do it. Perfect. I would say comment below, you guys, but this video, <laughs> the car's gonna be done. <laughs> this build came out sick, but it wasn't cheap. And speaking of costly bills, getting credit card debt is way too easy. Getting out, well, that's a system set up to make sure you don't. Like many, if you're struggling with credit cards, personal loans, collections, or medical bills, you need to check out PDS Debt. PDS provides a service to match you with debt solutions tailored to your financial situation to personally help get you out of debt. If you're making payments every month on your debt and your balances aren't going down, PDS has solutions for you. Everyone with $10,000 or more in eligible debt qualifies and there is no minimum credit score required. Bad and fair credit accepted. Save more while paying off your debt in a fraction of the time. PDS Debt strives to understand your specific scenario and has customized options for anyone struggling with debt. With everything going on in life, it is so easy to get buried in debt and there is no need to live in debt forever. So why not give PDS Debt a try if you are in this exact situation? Stop waiting and start saving. Get a free debt analysis right now at pdsdebt.com slash Amelia. It only takes 30 seconds. Again, that's pdsdebt.com slash Amelia. Take the step towards financial freedom and let PDS Debt do the hard work for you. Thanks PDS Debt for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. What do you think? You got bright red on your shirt? No, I like this one. You like that one? Yeah. I think that's what we're going with. This is so cool, but I think there's something else. Yeah, that's a good looking red. Yeah. Wow, just an honest, straightforward opinion. No talking. 
You feeling all right? Oh, I'm good. I'm tired. I want to go home. Let me order Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> right? Just put this red. Let's go home. We haven't wrapped a single car in the satin blood red yet. So. Oh, man. Mm. Don't do that to me. Mm. This is really beautiful in person. It's like a Bordeaux wine. It's yeah. funny. When I wrapped the RWB in this, I just I kept, I couldn't stop touching it. I was just like, <laughs> I, I would go out into the garage and just be like. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I would do. Yep. This is soft. This will. Wait a minute. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> even I would say, even I'm saying, keep, keep the blue. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'll never color change that. This is oh. like, this is a trip to touch. You know, this would look really good on a, a Ventador. I'm just saying. You know? Yeah. It could. Yeah. It could. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Something to think about. Right color, it matches perfectly with the GTR. This is beautiful. And it matches the cage, it matches the calipers, even the front cover. It's a little bit darker the front cover, but it, it works, it fits. That's pretty good. That's close. It's yeah. not bad at all. Yeah. On the camera, it looks the same the way the light hits that flat part. Yeah. Well, that dark would have looked good if it was oh, yeah. like a car with deep body lines, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Then it would've looked real good. He is trying to get me to do that PPF, like satin blood red on the Aventador. Well, we were just talking about <laughs> Yeah. That. That's what we were just talking about. <laughs> yeah, it has to be a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, something with deep body lines and very aggressive. Yeah. And that would look real good. Yeah, because the way the, the sun would hit it, it would there'd just be so much. I'm afraid on this, it would look like a balloon because it would just be smooth, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it looks, like, it looks like a balloon. It's just kind of like... I see what you mean, yeah. Wait, have you touched it? it? You should touch it. You should, you if should if your it. hands can even feel anything at this point. No. <laughs> Let me see. I'm just Dude, I'm, look at what she's done to me. You should wear gloves. Why don't you wear gloves? Because he's right. a man. <laughs> yeah, the when man, you build no, a race car, no this homo, is what happens. The man, I can't look, that. when you build a race car, when you... Work the cam. This callus is there. When you work the cam, yeah, but I don't want to know what that's from. But when you work, <laughs> when you work the camera, <laughs> use lotion. So that's why your hands are extra soft. The lotion. Yeah. No, 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 no lotion. I'm past that point. <laughs> oh my god. The whole hey, her hands are tore up too from building this thing. I seen blood. Yep. Tears. I seen tears. <laughs> Lots of tears. And she can call it sweat, but it was more tears. I've seen it all. I think the worst injury from this entire build has been you getting a shard of carbon on your arm. That was pretty good. Yeah. It's all right. He was like, oh, look at this. And then just- I like, rubbed my hand across the carbon and it went right into my finger. Oh God. I'm emotionally scarred. <laughs> so you want to see the pearl white with the cherry blossom? I would love to, yeah. It's over here. Whoa. Wow. <gasps> Obviously we can't- Oh those. my God. Wow, the white is beautiful. That's so pretty. It's insane. Oh my God, you guys did such a good job with this. Yeah. This looks amazing. It looks so sick. I can't wait to see it on the car. Damn, yeah, this looks crazy. Yeah. You like it? It's good. Pearl white, huh? Yep, pearl white. It gives the cherry blossoms a little shimmer. Yeah. But wait, there's more. Okay, yeah, these are the ones for the hood. Oh, cool. Nissan logo. We've got uh, a lot of decals. We got Sissio, Michelin. Even though we're not running Michelin tires, they're just a great sponsor and support of the channel. So I want to show them some love. We got Mobile One. Mobile One, our new oil sponsor, guys. Fuel Tech, Simpson, Nissan, Zona. Oh. Wow. We still have a couple return to life we're going to be doing. Oh, here's another Sissio one. But this is exciting. Nismo, real big. So cool, man. I love how the cherry blossoms came out. Now we got to bring this car to Japan, take a photo with other of the cherry blossoms. It's got to be there by Friday. <laughs> <laughs> For Japan, yeah. yeah by oh, the by way. the way, there's another build we got to do. Yeah, by the way, <laughs> it's got to be on a plane. All right, one day until this car needs to be on a trailer. I actually have to leave right now. I am on a flight out first thing in the morning to go shoot a show with Red Bull. I'll tell you guys more about it later, but I have to go home to pack so I can catch a flight. And by the time I get back, the car is going to be done. So I can't wait to see the livery and uh, it'll be both of our first time seeing it together. <laughs> I just got back from an incredible shoot with Red Bull in Texas. I can't talk about it. I can't say anything, but I can't wait to share it with you. It should be out in a couple of weeks. I recognize I am wearing the same clothes. Don't judge me. But we have the Nissan Z finished 
and behind me under this very wrinkly red cover, but I'm going to witness how beautiful she is for the very first time and I cannot wait to see how close it looks to the original render. There was so much time and effort that got put into the design of this. I know you guys saw cherry blossoms. I know you know what the overall concept is going to look like. Hopefully it's going to look like. And before I pull the cover, I just wanna share with you guys how important this build is for me. When I went to Japan, it actually happened to be cherry blossom season. And I learned that cherry blossoms, meaning is life, death, and renewal, return to life, my apparel line, is wake from death and return to life. And they both essentially have the same found meaning and that resonated with me so well. It's never too late to start over, recreate yourself. This car marks a new chapter in my partnerships, a new level of my builds and where I'm trying to take my career in terms of racing and building. So without further ado, I cannot wait to show you this Nissan Drag Z. and the cherry blossoms. This looks amazing. This looks like an OEM factory backed build. This looks insane. To think that this came out of this garage is such a next step in everything that we're doing and everything we have planned. This is sponsored by Nissan and Nismo and Mobile One, our new oil partner. This came out so amazing, you guys. I am so thankful for all the sponsors. I even put Fuel Tech Zona and Simpson on the bottom, Sissio, because that's where the motor came from. But the attention to detail of the red matching the calipers perfectly. We have the dump tubes in the front here. Decided to keep the wheels a polished silver. The door handles are black and full interior inside of this car. The cage has been painted red to match the red accents and the whole rear trunk is done with a carbon fiber. We have the Nismo in the back. We put a little Hertford logo on the back as well. But you guys, this was an insane scale of a build to do in less than two months. So we'll be taking it to Florida. I can't wait for everyone at ZCon to see this in person for the very first time. And then from there, we're gonna dino her and we're gonna take her to the drag strip and hopefully I will do the fastest quarter mile pass I've ever done in my entire life. Look at that. Look how good that looks, you guys. We kept the rear strut tower OEM interior pieces. All the trunk interior pieces are in here. The cage is painted red. These beautiful carbon fiber sheets, the carbon fiber wheel tubs, perfectly riveted on. It looks factory. And I love everything about how this came out. Also, take a look at this. If you look under the rear diff housing, there's also a little Nismo logo on the brace. Ideally, if you see this car, you're gonna be sitting under the front because we're gonna be popping some mad wheelies on this car. I can't believe this, like, this level of build is like nothing we've ever done on this channel. And this is gonna set the bar for anything and everything we do here moving forward. This couldn't have been, been possible without everyone who, who came in to help me. This has been a team project. So let me show you guys the front now. I am missing one logo on the side and it's drive shaft shop. I need to get that printed. Um, but we're running their carbon fiber drive shaft. Also a huge thank you to Nozatech because that's the wrap material that we're running on this car. I look at this and it's beautiful. The cherry blossoms just came out so nice. And Greg was right. It has this really pretty effect because it's been printed on a pearl. I'm like speechless when I look at this car. One of the big things that I wanted to do when designing how this was going to look, and obviously I didn't do it myself, you guys, but sleeking the headlights a little bit gave it those angry eyes. And I think it just gives the car like such a sleek looking front end that I love the way that it came out. I think it's perfect. And you'll also notice that this is the Nismo bumper on the front of the car. And I think that it just gives it such a more aggressive front end look. 
I've contemplated whether or not to keep the grill pieces because I love the placement of the turbos. These Zona turbos, you can see so clearly without the grill. So comment below, let me know what you guys think. Should I just remove the grill pieces or keep them in there? But I'm ready to show you guys under the hood. <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! This came out so good! This looks like a factory engine in this engine bay! I mean, technically it's a factory Nissan engine. I mean, it's a stock block and heads just with a Sissio Performance 2000 horsepower rotating assembly and CNC ported heads and 12 freaking 2500cc injectors. And I love that we did the white. I know I said I kind of regretted it and not to tell deeds, but I don't regret it anymore. Black under the hood, and we tried to get rid of all the yellow pieces. We still need to do the door jams, but we kind of ran out of time. I think the red front cover, the white valve covers, the whole intake manifold's been spaced up. Everything looks so good. I contemplated powder coating the charge pipes and also the turbos, but I think for now, I'm just gonna leave them that raw metal color. Everything just came out so amazing. I'm still tweaking over the fact that this came out of this garage. And if you guys looked at the channel seven, eight years ago, just spending an entire episode trying to make a bracket for the hydro out of this Nissan 240SX to building this Nissan Z, the progress and the knowledge is night and day. So I, I hope to continue to be able to challenge myself. I hope to continue to challenge the team and everyone who helped with this build because I couldn't have done this alone. I'm incredibly grateful for where this project has come and where we are today after not even two months. We still have to fire it, we still have to tune it, we still have to drive it, and the tow truck's five minutes out. <laughs> so let's fire it, let's go drive this right now, let's make sure she can move under her own power, and let's get her loaded up on the trailer and set off to Florida. So I'm gonna see you in a couple days. Yeah. I'm excited to see you in Florida. You wanna see uh, where we're at? Yeah. yeah, let's see what we got. Dang, look at that thing. <laughs> that, actually looks, that actually looks super sick. Thank you. Dude, was this was a grind. Was go what a freaking trip. Yeah. Did you guys hit the dyno yet? Not yet. We didn't have time. We're gonna dyno her after. We're just happy to be able to get her done and bring it out. No, we're talking about bringing her up to Fuel Tech in Atlanta. That thing is gnarly looking. Thank Holy you. Hell. Nice work. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> see you in uh, yeah, less than a week. Yeah. I'll awesome. see you soon. We got the whole Nissan gang headed to Zcon. I'm so excited. So we ended up slapping the parachute on. We had enough time. The trailer guy was coming a little bit late. We did not have enough time to paint the door jams though. But uh, it's, a little, it's a little yellow still. But we'll take care of that when we get back. Ugh. We got the padding in the seat. We have the full Nissan interior. You guys, look at this. Look at that. The freaking windows work. That's so wild. I even have a cup holder. I say we fire her with the factory start engine button right here. Are you guys ready? Plug in your ears. No response from anyone. I've never heard Deed so quiet. Before I fire it, because it might be tough to hear me when we do start it, um, sadly, when we shorted the harness and we had to repair it, we also shorted the wideband. So we're not getting an AFR reading on either banks right now. So we just have a very standard two hour base tune on this that Deed slapped together just so that we can get this on and off a trailer to Zcon and maybe, maybe be able to two step it. But let's, uh, let's fire this right now. Fire in the hole. <laughs>
you going? kill it because we don't have all the sensors hooked up. Oh, now he found the computer. Let me see uh, the computer. No, I'm going to deactivate <laughs> everything. Mark, I'm going to put the launch in so it's going to eject one of you. Okay. You might not be in the clear. Ejecto Cedo, cuz. Yeah. Aka, he's saying get out. Oh. Okay, so we're programming two-step right now, but again, we don't have wideband, so it's kind of hard to program it and figure out where we're at with things, but let's fire it and let's see what we can do. See. <laughs> safely to Zcon for us. He's doing some inspection photos right now. We just had to pull up in the shade because it is 110 degrees Fahrenheit here right now. <laughs> Well, you guys, we did it. It feels so good to have this car done and off this lift. Next, the GTR will be getting out of here. I'm gonna ask Nissan if they'll let me keep it. I haven't felt this way since the CA Corvette days of just grinding endless hours to get that built into the drag strip. So it's very rewarding. And I know my energy is so low because I'm so tired right now, but we did it. She's gone. And I'll see you guys in Florida. E-Crew, we out here with love. Bye! <laughs>